What's up guys, my name is today, as you see here, yeah, I'm back with another banger, today yes, it might be my first video, um, I'm doing reactions, so I'm excited, today we're going to be reacting to Strange Addictions, um, I don't know, because I've watched these Strange Addiction videos, and people like, like, pe like, people go crazy, you know, so I'm excited to react to this one anyway, um, okay, first we're going to react to the, um, what is it, Woman Eats More Than 100 Bar, no, Woman eats more than 100 bars of soap every single year. A woman eats. Nah, that's disgusting, you know. Oh! More than 100 bars of soap a year. Let's just get, get straight into this. I'm Tempest. I'm 19 years old. I'm in college. And I'm addicted to eating laundry detergent and soap. It's not the bar of soap she eats in the powder. Here's me thinking she's eating bars of soap. She's not eating bars of soap. She's eating powder. Like, are you caught in your head? After, bro, and we're nine seconds in. I'm already doing this. Like, just carry on watching it. Every morning I do actually wake up and go right down to the laundry room. It's extremely embarrassing. I take my two fingers and dab. The problem is, yeah, she said she takes her two finger fingers and dabs it on the top. It's the problem is she's getting her saliva and putting it in the powder soap. So what happens when her parents go and wash the clothes? Tastes like sweet, salty, sour, bitter. I'm so sorry that I'm pausing it so much. I, I'm 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 gonna stop pausing it now, innit? She said it tastes sweet and it tastes sour. She... No no comments, no comments, no comments, no comments. So this will last me like 15 minutes. And I want some more. Growing up, I've always loved the smell of laundry detergent. And during the times I would be stressed, I would smell laundry detergent. And it tends to like calm me down. I'm not I feel like I'm down. supposed to eat laundry detergent because it feels so right. There are some serious dangers involved with eating soap or laundry detergent. Those can include... Thank you. Thank you. What's his name? Dr. John Z Zajeka. A psychiatrist. Thank you so much. Everyone, every, everyone at home, give this guy a clap at home. Nah, thank, thank you that someone's saying that you can't eat soap. Thank you with someone with common sense. Include things like causing ulcerations in the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the intestines. I eat the soap when I wash my hands. I eat the soap when I take a shower. I even eat the soap sometimes, like, in my bed. When I think about the idea of the soap and non detergent cleansing me, I basically mean I feel refreshed. And so if I feel refreshed on the outside, why not feel refreshed on the inside? When I'm stressed or aggravated, I tend to eat more laundry detergent and soap. 
I've been stressed a lot more with school, me graduating high school, so now we entering college. My roommates, they have an idea of what's going on, and they know, you know, I like the smell, and they know I enjoy washing with um, soap, but they don't really know the full extent. Now, I noticed that she takes a lot of showers, and I was wondering if she kind of had a problem. So I just want to go ahead and lay it all out on the table, and hopefully their opinion doesn't, you know, hurt me too much. You know how, like, you, you get bubbles in your hands, like, from the soap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I eat it. That's nasty. That's for laundry detergent. Um, I eat that too. So why do you do this? Like, what's the purpose of eating it? Because it calms me down. Picture something making you feel so good that you you feel like you can't help it. That it does become an addiction. You need to stop. It's only gonna get worse. It's hard for me. To, to, to hear this from you this is difficult because I was dealing with it I've been dealing it I've been dealing with it for months I didn't want any little things to jeopardize like our friendship I'm sorry I do think that Tempest needs to receive help not gonna lie still I actually do feel sorry for her though <sighs> but why be addicted to soap I do feel sorry for her the only reason I feel sorry for because she's crying but still though I don't know. Oh, so maybe seeing a doctor would probably help her. More than 100 bucks of Nah, bro, I'm finished watching this, you know, I swear. Let's go into another one. But 100 bucks of soap every year. I'm going into another one. It says, meet the man who is sexually attracted to balloons. Bro, are you god in your head? Massive is sexually attracted to balloons, bro. Are you a don't now? I'm, I'm getting okay. Let me let, let's just watch this one. My name is Julius, I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. They're beautiful, they're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he... Five decades, bro. Fifty years? Okay, so you're saying that this guy's an old man and he's addicted to balloons? This guy... Five decades, man. I swear... I feel sorry for it if he's got wife and children. I feel sorry for his wife and children. Like, I feel sorry for you, honestly. When he was a child, as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colours. Now Julius has filled his home with over fifty thousand balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble. You know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long one. I can't lie, I like those balloons as well, but not to extreme that I'm sexually attracted to them. The round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons is also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, balloons, it's also a sexual balloons, it's also a sexual balloons, it's also a sexual. Please, no. Oh. He needs some milk. <clears throat> this guy is different levels of madness. You know. Why? 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 I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother came to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius. And he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. Balloons are not pets, you dunny. 
this guy. I don't want to talk too much because I'm longing out this. I swear though. I go to car dealerships and uh, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they send them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give them a second chance of life. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. I don't blame. I don't blame Julius's wife for not participating in this. Cause I swear, if I had a wife and she was like, I wouldn't want to be in the car. I feel so embarrassed. So I don't blame her. I don't. I don't blame the wife. I, I can't. I can't blame the wife. Still, I can't blame the wife. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to there is a, uh, a problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, not hurting anybody. It's not dangerous, and I have no desire to change. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. I've heard from the family a little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for them. You ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. You know, uh -huh. nothing... If you feel like it, you have to keep things hidden, especially something like this. There's obviously a problem. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. No. No. Definite no. Definite no. Uh, hell, I've been doing it too long. Wow. So how long have you been doing it? How many years altogether do you have collecting these balloons? Oh, collecting them? I started when I was about eight. Okay. All right. Until they fall. If they already, you know... Fall and then I'll untie them and powder them, put them in a bag. What? When you when you say powder, what? talcum powder. Talcum powder. That keeps them from, from sticking together. Okay. Alright. Talcum powder. You know, let me search up. Let me search for it because I've never seen it. Talcum powder. No, 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 Imperial leather. <laughs> bro, those were the ones when you see you use on your baby, bro. You put. I don't know, man. I'm done with this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope you hope you guys kind of like and um start enjoying this series. What I'm doing, your reactions. But yeah.